Welcome back. Today we are going to explore the greatest integer function. And the greatest integer function is denoted by the double brackets. Okay, so that's something new that you probably haven't seen before. And in the greatest integer function, as you can see in, in the graph, our solutions are just integers. We're used to having solutions or outputs be a, a smooth line uh, or a continuous line. But here, our, our range is just the set of integers. So we're only going to get outputs of 1 and 2 and 3 and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So no fractions, no decimals here. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, our summary of our domain and range and what the x and y intercepts are. Uh, so take a good look at that, okay? But these functions are, are unique because of the vertical jumps in the range. So that's why it looks like uh, steps. So we can sketch a graph by hand, okay, of a particular greatest integer function. And just like we've done before, uh, to find our outputs, we just put our input into the function and simplify. So f of 0, uh, we'll put that into our function of x plus 2 plus 1. And our, our answers are only going to be integers. So 0 plus 2. And our greatest integer function plus 1 is just going to be 2 plus 1 or 3. So when we input 0, we output 3. And that's going to be 3 all the way from 0 all the way to an input of 1. So I have an open dot here at 1. And then we reevaluate. So at f of 1, I'm not going to do the brackets here. We have 1 plus 2 uh, plus another 1, so 3 plus 1. We get an output of 4. So for all our inputs from 1 to 2, we have that as our graph. And then we also have some inputs of negative 1, so negative 1 plus 2 plus 1, we're going to get an output of 2. So when we input negative 1, we output 2. two. But notice again, I start with a closed dot and finish with an open dot. And then negative 2 plus 2 plus 1, we're going to get an output of 1. So that's what our graph looks like. And you'll see this in real life in like postage stamps um, or mailing things. You also might see it in your, like your cell phone bill for so much data. There's a fixed price. Um, then when your data jumps to a different level, you have different prices, that kind of thing. Okay, although many of you probably have unlimited data. But those are the kinds of real life examples you could see. We can also do this on our graphing calculator. So it would look something like this on our calculator. Uh, we'd go to the math, num, and integer functions. Okay, uh, so I'm going to pull up my graphing calculator here. And I'll do math. And then I want to cursor over to the num category. And our greatest integer function here is going to be 5. And now it's going to accept the greatest integer function, x plus 2 plus 1. And we will graph that. And there is our step function, our greatest integer function. And you'll see they get the same outputs that we have there. So there is the introduction to step functions and the greatest integer function. And we will work on that more when I see you in class.